In this tutorial, I will explain how you can build an Arduino radar, which will detect objects using an ultrasonic sensor. We will use a program called Processing, which will show when objects are within range of the radar. When an object is close to the ultrasonic sensor, a buzzer will sound. The object will also show up in red on the Processing graphical user interface. You will need an Arduino as well as a connecting cable. You will also need an active buzzer. This is the buzzer which has black on the bottom, as well as a breadboard, an ultrasonic sensor, and about 11 mm jumper cables. You will also need four FM jumper cables. You may also need an adapter if you have a more modern computer. Details of all these components can be found at link one below. Connect up all the components exactly as they appear in the schematic diagram, which can be found at link 2 below. After you are finished, carefully trace all the connections to ensure they go to exactly the right sections of the Arduino, the breadboard and the ultrasonic sensor. Remember the positive side of the buzzer with an addition sign should face the top side of the breadboard. The cable from the negative leg of the buzzer should go to port 7 of the Arduino. VCC from the ultrasonic sensor should go to the positive section of the breadboard. Grounding from the ultrasonic sensor should go to the negative section of the breadboard. Trig from the ultrasonic sensor should lead via the breadboard to port 2 on the Arduino. Echo from the ultrasonic sensor should lead via the breadboard to port 3 on the Arduino. After you have connected up the components, you will need two separate programs. The first one is the Arduino IDE. If you do not already have this installed, you can find it at link 3 below. Then you will need a specific Arduino program to run the radar. Open the Arduino IDE and select File and then select New. Then it is time to plug in your Arduino. When you connect it, you will need to make sure your computer knows the correct port. Select Tools and then Port. The correct port is usually the one which includes a number. Select it. When you see a tick, your Arduino is properly connected. Then open up link 5 in the notes. Copy and paste the entire script from the doc into the new Arduino program you just opened. To upload the program, just press the button here, which shows an arrow pointing to the right. You should see the light on the Arduino flashing as the program downloads. If your buzzer is connected correctly, you will hear it briefly make a noise as soon as the program finishes uploading. The ultrasonic sensor should automatically be functional. You can test this by placing your hand in front of it and seeing if the buzzer responds. However, it is great if you can also get the radar graphical user interface working in processing as well. First, make sure you have downloaded the application called Processing. This can be found at link 4 below. Then, open up Processing. Next, you will need to download the specific processing program. This can be found at link 6 in the notes. It is a zip file, so you will need to extract it first. Paste the PDE file somewhere easy to find, like your desktop. Then open processing itself, select file and navigate to where you placed the PDE file. You will need to change the program depending on which port you are using. So go back to the Arduino IDE, select Tool, and then Port, and check the number of the ports. Then go back to the Processing program, and type Command and F as a shortcut if you're using the Mac OS. Type in 1.4 and click Find. This will locate the section in your Processing program where the number of your port is. The number here needs to be exactly the same as the port number you saw in the Arduino IDE. Make sure you type in exactly the same thing here as appeared in the Arduino IDE. 
After this, to run the program, simply click the play button in processing. If it is working correctly, when you move an object close to the ultrasonic sensor, the object should show up in red on your processing radar. If your device does not work like this, there are a few things you can try. Carefully trace all the cables and compare them to the schematic diagram. Also make sure that the buzzer is facing upwards with the positive on top. You may also want to replace components. Try swapping the buzzer for a different one or the Arduino for a different one, if possible. Remember also, of course, if you replace the Arduino to download the program onto the newer Arduino as well. If the processing GUI is not working correctly, double check you typed the name of the port correctly into the processing program. It should be exactly the same as it appears in the Arduino IDE. As an extension, you might like to add a servo motor, which you can blue tack or glue the radar to so that the radar spins around. You can find a schematic diagram of this version of the project at link 7 below.